It was homecoming for the Stafford Bulldogs as they welcomed the Catalina Trojans on Friday night. Air Evac was kind enough to give the Bulldogs mascot a lift so he could deliver the game ball to the refs as a packed stadium enjoyed the moment. The Bulldogs defense was up to the task and stopped the Trojans on their first possession to force a punt. On Safford's third play from scrimmage, C.J. Scrivener took off down the right side and Philippe Kajana just got a hand on him to push him out of bounds, but Safford was set up nicely on the edge of the red zone. On the very next play, Jarek Arbizo took it 23 yards to the house and Safford was up 7-0 over their opponents from Tucson. The Trojans faced a third and three on their next possession and Tybell Crusella took the pass from Trey Daniels 26 yards for a big first down from the big man. Daniels then found Crusella over the middle and it took five Bulldogs to get him to the ground but not before he set the Trojans up with first and goal from the five yard line. On third and goal from the five, Leon Hayes is in at quarterback, and as he rolls to his right, he's pressured by Samuel Tobias. Hayes tries to hit Jose Lugo in the end zone, but Jarek Garbizo steps in front of the pass with shades of Chuck Cecil, and it was off to the races. Arbizo picked up a block from Tobias, and nobody is even in the frame with him as he goes 100 yards on the longest pick six I've seen while covering the Bulldogs. After a three and out, the Bulldogs got the ball back at about their own 43 and Robert White bursts through the line and it's a foot race to the end zone, but Hayes just hangs on for dear life and managed to bring down White at the five. After the 52 yard pickup, five more was nothing but a thing and White finished the drive to put Safford up 20-0 still in the first quarter. In the second quarter, Lugo hit a line drive punt that appeared to go off Daniels and only netted 11 yards, putting the Bulldogs already in the red zone. Safford made good use of the short field as Samuel Tobias took the handoff and kept chugging and chugging all the way into the end zone even as he was taken down by an illegal horse collar tackle. Safford went for two and had Joseph smelt the cop open, but they just couldn't execute the play. Okay, here's the biggest play of the night for the Trojans. Hayes drops back and he's quickly running for his life. Just before he gets sacked by a group of Bulldogs, he heaves a prayer deep and Kajana answers by catching it at the 45. He then spins away from the tackle and goes all the way to the 30 before he's taken down. On second down from the 11, Daniels takes it around the right side and he lunges the ball over the pylon for the touchdown! But oh, the ref says Daniels went out of bounds before reaching the end zone. Still, the Trojans are in business with first and goal from the one. Too bad the Bulldogs business is goal line defense. On fourth and goal from the three, Hayes gives it to Crusella, who tries to bounce it outside, but the Bulldogs are there to gang tackle him and force him out of bounds and the turnover on downs. Johnson Motors is proud to sponsor our local high school athletes. If you're in the game for a new ride, trust Johnson Motors for a great deal on a quality new or used vehicle. Shop our virtual showroom and then stop on by for a test drive. That's Johnson Motors in Safford. On Safford's first play after its goal line stand, Scrivener takes the sweep to the right side for some breathing room and nobody's there until Hayes gathers him up and upends him with a body slam. Two plays later, Arbizo follows a blue wave of blockers around the left side for big yardage and then he cuts it back inside whoop, and gains a few more before getting gang tackled at the 30. On the ensuing play, Scrivener takes the ball and says, Get out of here, Kajana, and better luck next time, Mr. Daniels, as he races 30 yards to pay dirt to put Safford up 33 to nothing. The Bulldogs then decided to practice its onside kicking game and caught the Trojans sleeping as Ray Baca recovered the kick. Safford then went back to Scrivener, who followed his blockers around the right side and weaved his way in and out of defenders 33 yards for the touchdown. The Trojans kept at it, however, and Daniels hit Crusella in the flat and the big tight end stumbled and bumbled across midfield. The drive would end on 4th and 12, however, as Daniels loads up, but nobody was home for the deep pass. Safford went back to the well with Scrivener, and he breaks the tackle and heads outside. He could go almost all the way, but Hayes just gets enough of him to knock him out at the 12. On second down from the 11, Arbizo is caught in the backfield for the sack by Lugo. Now, that's a lot of celebrating going on for being down by 40, but hey, take what you can get, I guess. 
However, on the very next play, Arbizo rolls to his left and tosses a 15-yard TD to a wide-open Daniel Alec to put the Bulldogs up 47 to nothing and start the mercy running clock. The teams then went into halftime with the same score. As Safford was just trying to run out the clock, Arbizo mishandles the snap, and while it looks like he initially recovered the ball, Brandon Hussey managed to pry it away from him in the pileup, and Safford had one of its few miscues of the night with a lost fumble. The turnover didn't hurt the Bulldogs, as Matt Peralta ran down Hayes and practiced his judo on him as he flipped the Trojan to the ground and forced a punt. It looked like the Bulldogs found the end zone again in the fourth quarter, but this run was called back on a penalty. The snap then flew over Landon Schertz's head, and Lugo recovered for the Trojans at the 35-yard line. The Trojans said, oh yeah, I can do that too, and snapped the ball even higher over Daniels' head. Daniels recovered the ball, but Matt Peralta delivered a shot to knock it out. Emmett Post then picked up the fumble off the ground and took it back 44 yards to the house to end the scoring of the night as the Bulldogs destroyed the Trojans and homecoming 54 to nothing. Reporting from Safford for the Gila Herald, I'm John Johnson. Okay.